I was watching you. Because if people know about BAM Box, they know that this being the October box, it is watching. Watching is the name of the theme. This is actually my first BAM Box, and thank you very much for checking this out, by the way. Um, the reason I signed up for this one to be my first, I'd heard about BAM Box, I heard they were doing good stuff, and I thought October is the time to do it because watching had a lot to do with horror, although I don't think it's all going to be horror from what I've heard, but mainly. Um, huge horror fan right here, so I thought October, this is the time to do it, plus I've heard great things about Bambox. Uh, a few things to say about it, though. Um, one of the big things is there may be an issue with the box. Not saying there definitely will be, but there might be. Got an email actually just today as this showed up on my doorstep uh, saying that uh, there was an issue with some of the boxes. Apparently some of them are missing an item. Uh, and they didn't say what it would be, but they did say... So they alluded to something that you would know, basically, if it was missing. Which I'm assuming maybe that means the pin would be missing, because they always have pins in these things, so... I don't know. Also let you know, I did get the expansion pack for this October box. Now, I'm going to do that as a separate video. Uh, I thought about tacking on this, but I'm like, no, I'll just do it as separate. Because there might be some people who are just looking to see the expansion, because they, they got a BAM box or whatever. So, I'm going to split it up. Uh, I'll post it not long after posting this one. So anyway, those are the two main things. Uh, excited to get into this as my first spam box. And let's cut it open. So I know we were promised, I believe, three autographed items for this. I think. I hope I'm not, you know, misquoting that. But let's set it over here. All right. On top. There's the watching theme. That's pretty cool. It's all sorts of awesome things. I hope there's a an item from every single one of those would be very nice. Um, but I'm not going to open this up because I'm sure it's going to have all sorts of extra information about what's actually in here. And I don't want to know yet. So I'm going to set that to the side. The pin. Okay, I'm not missing the pin. And goddamn, am I excited about this pin because... This is one of the things I love the most in horror, and that is, oh, excuse me, and that is the movie Trick or Treat, which I watch every friggin' Halloween, and this is, let's make sure there's not too much glare on that, I'm sorry, my hands shake too, I have a uh, central tremor, but anyway, uh, it's Sam, it, it's a kind of cartoonish version of Sam from Trick or Treat, if you have no idea about what this is or what Trick or Treat is, shame on you if you're a horror fan, because Amazing movie. Probably, in my opinion, uh, the best movie about um, Halloween that there is, or based on Halloween night. Uh, I'm sorry, the audio may have sounded different because the box was kind of obstructing where my uh, thing is. So anyway, sorry about that. All right, so um, yes, Sam. Very excited. This pin is freaking awesome. It looks really good. Like it, The cartoony aspect of it is really cool, but also... Like the quality, that's like a quality ass pin. Like get a real good look. Look at that. I don't think I put it close enough before. But look at that. That's that's damn good quality pin. So very nice. Made by I'm sure it'll be in here. Whatever. Alright, moving on to not the paper, not the packing paper. I don't need that. First item on top that I grab. <laughs> it's not, this isn't an item that's worth like a ton or anything, but I don't really care about that, especially because of what it is. They hit another thing that I'm a huge fan of, uh, and that is the Evil Dead films. So this is a name tag that says S-Mart. Hello, my name is Ash. Housewares. So anyone who's seen um, the Evil Dead films, or in Ash vs. Evil Dead too, because that's where it starts, is at S-Mart. Uh, but mainly, I guess, uh, Army of Darkness. Who works at a place called S-Mart. Shop smart. Shop S-Mart. Um, that's, you know, obviously, it's, you know, it's plastic. It's a, it's a plastic pin. But it's awesome. Uh, probably the most awesome, you know, inexpensive plastic pin you can get. Because it has to do with the Evil Dead and it has to do with Bruce Campbell and Ash, and it's just funny. It's funny and it's cool, and actually you could use this if you're doing a costume, if you want to be Ash for Halloween, whatever. Um, so there you go. There's an idea for everyone. Um, that's pretty cool. 
Hollywood Horrors. It's an exclusive for Bambox, by the way. As is the pin. The pin's an exclusive as well. Alright, next. Also Bambox exclusive, apparently. And it's just in, you know, box labeling it as such. Bambox exclusive. Which I just messed... <laughs> I can already see what this is, and... God, they're... They're going to be three for three because they hit yet another thing that I really, really like. Which is Hellraiser. I'm a huge Hellraiser fan. Let me just get that out of the way. Huge Hellraiser fan. And look, it's a Rubik's Cube that is uh, designed like the Lament configuration. Um, as people just mainly usually know it as just the box from, you know, Hellraiser. Um, it's not, it doesn't look like it's good quality at all. Uh, you know, one of the stickers on this is actually on crooked, if you can see. Yeah, this one up here, it's on crooked. There actually a few of them are kind of crooked. Um, there's a really gross, you see that? Like, the sticker was on there or something, and there's like goo on it. Um, so it's not good quality at all, actually. It's actually kind of a crappy, there's more goo like on this side too. Look at this. That's kind of weird. Um, so not in the best condition for what it is, uh, but I like the idea behind it. It looks cool enough at a glance. If you just kind of have it on a shelf or something, people think that's cool. Um, but then when you pick it up, you can actually feel it's like really, really low quality plastic and these things may fall apart. So to actually, I wouldn't actually even play with it, to be honest, more of a display piece. Cool, but I would like a better quality than this. And I, actually, I would pay more for that. I've seen, like, the wooden ones, like the handcrafted wooden ones. I don't know if they could do that, but I would pay more for that. Just saying. So that's interesting, cool, but eh, the quality sucks. All right, what do we have here? Oh, it's, uh, yeah. This is something I knew that we were going to be getting for watching, and I know a lot of people freaked out about it because they were like, what? This is supposed to be about horror, but as we know, watching... Doesn't mean horror. Um, it's a Kiss comic. Um, it's a Kiss comic. Right there. Kiss. But it, it looks like it has horror elements to it because, you know, Gene Simmons is like breathing fire. So it looks like it's signed. It is signed. There's a signature up there, if you can see it. But on the outside of it, there's no sort of you know, letter of authenticity, certificate, or anything telling you who signed it. I'm assuming probably one of the people who did the comic, like the artwork or the story. I don't know, but maybe that's in the spoiler book, so we'll check that out. But Kiss Comic, I'll read it. Uh, maybe someone likes this, and depending on who signed it, might be cool. I don't know. Although I don't really like Kiss that much. Sorry. Uh, oh, next one. Oh, this is... Yeah, this is cool. A uh, piece of artwork. God, this is really cool artwork. Uh, it's Freddie and Jason. Uh, there's a letter of authenticity, and it's a numbered piece of art. Let me make sure I've seen that okay. Do I have to angle it? Okay, angle it so you're not getting too much glare. Tell me if you can see. I can't see. So, <laughs> there you go. That's kind of better. It's Freddie and Jason. Um, really cool. Very, very almost realistic in the way the artwork's done it's really cool it's number 160 out of 2500 which is pretty freaking sweet um that's awesome artwork and there's a certificate of authenticity for it as well it is signed by the artist who did it which is adam MacArthur. um oh uh ceo with bambox yeah okay oh no adam MacArthur's just signing off saying that it's authentic but doesn't have the info on who did it i think maybe that should be on there but anyway um this looks awesome this is amazing i kind of want to get that frame to be honest it's that good so very cool um that's one of the signed items then next oh sh i kind of i predicted this i kind of predicted this because they had said in one of their teasers that they were going to do something that was, I think they said like 40 years old that hadn't been seen for 40 years or something. And it, it, I think they said it was going to have to do with one of the signed items. So it has a certificate of authenticity and everything. It's a print, um, or it's it's like a uh, glossy from, from a film. 
So it is a Linda Blair signed glossy from The Exorcist. Very awesome. From The Exorcist. And a good scene to choose. And I wonder if it's different scenes for different people, but I don't know. I guess I won't know. Maybe it'll say in the book. But that's awesome, as you can see, signed up here. Um, I kind of thought this would be the case, and I'm pretty excited about that, because I always thought it'd be cool to have Linda Blair's signature uh, from The Exorcist. That's that's pretty sweet. I like that. And then that's it. Where's the third signed item? Oh, the comic. That's right. So i got to figure out who signed this. I'm going to put this box down just so I have some more space. All right, so let me go through, see what kind of interestingness there is in here. Uh, oh, you can enter to win um, Freddy Krueger, or Robert England signed um, Nightmare on Elm Street replica footstone. That's cool. Not like you can see that. Um, one up key, which tells you if you're an instant winner or not. I'm not an instant winner. I got zero up. I didn't get one up. I got zero up. But anyway, okay, so it's got the puzzle box. It's got a thing about the pins. Here are the pins you could have gotten. They all actually look really good. Uh, I guess that's the one-up one, which is kind of not as good as the regular one of uh, Billy from um, Saul. And then there's Sam and there's uh, Chucky from Child's Play. Um, I'm glad that I got the Sam one because that's my favorite out of all of these. And uh, like I said, I'm huge on that. Um, it's got, you know... It's got the S-Mart thing in here. They just do like these little things about this is what it is. And they don't really say too much about it. Um, so the Kiss comic, signed by cover artist John Lucas. Which is funny because John Lucas's name is not on this. If you notice. Do you see John Lucas there? I don't. Kind of weird. I don't know. And I just feel like it should be there. It should say who it is that signed it. That kind of, uh, kind of sucks, but... Okay, so uh, I got the Exorcist, right, signed um, by... Exorcist Glossy, that is, signed by Linda Blair. You could have ended up with, instead of that, uh, a, one signed by Skeet Ulrich, who was the guy who was the original ghost face from Scream. You can see what that looked like down there, down here. Uh, once again, I'm glad that of the options, I got this one. Exorcist, way, way, way better than Scream. I mean, Scream's cool, but the Exorcist, obviously, way more iconic and way cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to imagine that people who got the Ghost Face one in their box would feel kind of cheated. Ugh, yeah, that would suck. Um, but I feel good, because I got what I wanted. Um, uh, oh, okay. So there were two options, actually, for this art print, which... Please tell me who did it. Uh, all prints are signed and numbered by artist Branham. Branham. John John Branham. Okay, so John Branham's the guy who did the art. Nice job, John Branham. That's really cool. So I got the one with Freddie and Jason, uh, if everyone remembers. But you could have gotten a split screen one with uh, Leatherface and um, Michael Myers. And you can see that down there. So... Uh, again, uh, of the two options, I'm glad I got the one I did. I like Freddy Krueger, uh, the most out of all those characters, and Jason Voorhees is really cool, too, um, as far as, like, iconic killers go. Um, Michael Myers, like, I'm cool with Michael Myers, but of those four, he's my least favorite. Leatherface is pretty cool. If they did a Freddy Krueger and a Leatherface one, that would have been the one I'd want the most, but of what was available, definitely got the one I wanted most. So, very cool. Um, and that's it. It just kind of explains that stuff. So, overall, good stuff. Um, most excited about this Linda Blair Exorcist autograph. Very awesome. So, I feel like the hyping up of the autographs is a little much. Maybe they shouldn't go that far because it's a little bit of a letdown when you start making people think that it's going to be like a bunch of celebrity autographs. Because this is awesome, and they should have just said, like, one celebrity autograph, because that's really awesome. That's enough, in my opinion. Um, the autograph from the person who did the art print, like, I mean, that's cool. It, it's a great print. I mean, it's awesome art. 
Um, but I don't think it's a selling point that they signed it necessarily. You should just do that. Um, and then with the kiss, you know, the guy's name isn't even on here. So in the future, I'm not even going to know. I'm going to forget. I don't even know who signed it. I'm going to forget that. Um, like I said, the puzzle box, I love the idea behind it, but the actual quality, it's crappy. It is not well made. It is garbage, really. And it doesn't... If you look closely, it doesn't look good either. Like I said, oh, I'll just gook all over it. <sighs> Poor form. I'm sorry. Poor form on that. Um, tag, you know, the S-Mark tag, really cool. Um, even though it's, like, cheap and inexpensive, that's, like, an awesome cheap and inexpensive, in my opinion. Uh, just a lot of fun. And the pin, I'm very excited about the pin. The pin is quality. It looks amazing. Just take another look at this. And it's a character that I love, love, love. Pin is probably the biggest um, surprise because I knew that the celebrity autograph would be awesome. You know, I, I assumed it would be awesome. And I kind of guessed that it might have been Linda Blair. So that's my favorite item. But of the things I didn't expect, the pin is my favorite item. So very cool. Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Um, also, I'll just throw out there, if there are other boxes you want me want to see me try out maybe, just let me know, leave some comments, or send me an email. You can send it brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. And brutal spelled B-R-E-W-T-A-L. It has to do with a craft beer podcast I do. But anyway, let's use it for the same thing. Um, so stick around. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the expansion one as well on a different video. So if you want to see that, the expansion pack for October's Bam Box for uh, watching, um, check it out. But once again, thank you for checking this out. And please, everybody, keep it brutal.